Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for bearing with this weather to, to make it here with us today. Um, my name is Denise Ward, and I'm going to get our press conference going. Um, first, for the order of program, Flora Devine is going to come and give the welcome. Um, we'll have remarks from Mr. Taylor, um, remarks from Mr. Hill from Coca-Cola, remarks from Dr. Dunning, and then Ms. Devine will close us out, and we'll also have a, um, a reception immediately after. Thank you. Good afternoon. Well, thank you all for coming out on our best winter day thus far, right? <laughs> and especially our guests from out of town. Thank you so much for being here with us. This is a momentous occasion. We have a number of first generation scholars who will be benefiting from the grant from the Coca-Cola Foundation and the Thurgood Marshall Foundation today. I am a first generation college student as well, so I know exactly what this will be for our students, hopefully for our institution and hopefully for the, for the region. So I am not going to um, do anything more. I'm going to turn the, the floor over to the president of our Student Government Association. Is he here? Mr. Andre Almer. We'll bring him up later. Okay, then Mr. Johnny C. Taylor is the President and CEO of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, and you're up next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad to be with you all today. Hi, we just flew in from Washington, D.C., where we're headquartered, and uh, leave it to you all to deliver snow for us. Right. And so uh, this morning, Delta delayed us quite a bit, but I was going to make it some way, somehow, uh, to spend this time with you. I understand from Dr. Dunning, this is a brand new facility, quite impressive. The campus all together, I went through, I was like, wow. So uh, thank you on behalf of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. For those of you who don't know us, we spend a lot of money here. <laughs> we, uh, there are two organizations in this space, the HBCU space, uh, the United Negro College Fund and the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. TMCF, the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, supports the public HBCUs. That's largely the distinction. And we say publicly supported because Howard University and Tuskegee University, while both technically private schools, are publicly supported, either by their state or by the federal government. And therefore, they too are our two private institutions. Otherwise, we have 47 schools around the country, 300,000 students. And the fact of the matter is, 80% of all HBCU students are on public campuses. So we, we like to say we are where the business is, right? Uh, schools like Albany State University. I'm excited because tomorrow I will be the commencement speaker as well. So I thought I was doing something. I thought I came in early. And uh, thank goodness I didn't try it tomorrow, right? So really honored to be here on your campus today. I know this will be, this is actually my first time here. I've come as close as Fort Valley State one of our member school institutions here in the, Georgia, in the state of Georgia, but hadn't gotten down here. But frankly, Coca-Cola, I just want to say thank you. Thank you uh, for your continued investment in our country's historically black colleges and universities. Uh, when I began in this role in 2007, actually, no, 2010, the, there was a t big question about the continued relevancy of HBCUs. And while all of us here in the room know the answer, and it's like, you know, why would people continue questioning that? Um, it means a lot to us that an organization, an iconic brand like the Coca-Cola Company, would continue through their foundation to invest in our students. And by the way, we see it all the time. Everyone's willing to in invest in the best and brightest students, the ones who are valedictorians of their class, uh, those kids who've come from the right families, whose parents, frankly, have invested at the right levels, had the ability to invest at the right level so that those uh, students were really prepared when they showed up to school. It takes a very strong corporate organization like Coca-Cola to invest in first-generation students. Too often, those are students like myself who didn't have the best K-12 through education but persisted in spite of that and came to school perhaps unprepared. But what the story is, is, is not how you came there, it's how you left there. And that's what we do in so many of our schools around the country. And so on behalf of our 300,000 students, our 47 member schools, uh, thank you. And frankly, I, I often say, and on behalf of all America, uh, too often what happens in our community, and I'll sit down because I can start preaching on this, but um, you hear from people who look like me and us who say, well, I didn't attend an HBCU. 
So what's my vested interest in making sure that HBCUs not only survive, but thrive? And what I often say, and if you really think and pause, particularly those of us uh, who are of African-American descent, um, there would not be me if it weren't for HBCUs. So whether or not you have matriculated on an HBCU campus or not, we are all products of HBCUs. If you think about it, HBCUs created our professional class, they created our middle class, they created the black lawyers and doctors and Indian chiefs. But at the end of the day, if it weren't for HBCUs, those of us who did attend majority institutions wouldn't have had that opportunity. And so we are all products of the HBCU, whether or not you attended one or not. And therefore, you know, organizations like Coca-Cola, who've enjoyed the success of being in Atlanta, um, where there are tons of HBCU graduates and increasingly non-HBCU graduates, you are beneficiaries of it, and we thank you for giving back to our community. So thank you, and I look forward to spending, I guess, the next 36, 48 hours with you all. I'll leave tomorrow immediately after graduation because um, Delaware State is this their 150th anniversary, and their current president is going to replace me as the president of Thurgood Marshall College Fund beginning next year. So I'll be leaving graduation right away, but I am so honored to be here and it won't be my last visit uh, as I begin my new role as the president and CEO of the Society for Human Resource Management, SHRM. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. We certainly appreciate you being here and look forward to your commencement address tomorrow. It'll, it'll be a gala affair, I promise you. Uh, from the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Mr. Carl C. Hill, Multicultural Community Relations Manager. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, you know, as I was coming this morning from Atlanta, I was a little nervous about the rain. Then I thought about it, and I was like, I'm coming down to the unsinkable Albany State <laughs> University. Correct. So I felt, felt better about myself for that one, right? So uh, I do represent the bottling side of our, uh, our company, and I bring you greetings from our Coca-Cola system. We say that because Coca-Cola has very wide arms. As Mr. Taylor said, we're partnering with them to bring $50,000 grant to Albany State University, which will actually help four students to give them $3,125 for the next four years, uh, as long as they maintain a 2.8 GPA. Uh, on a four point grade scale. So if you think about that, that's very, very powerful, a very powerful grant, a very powerful school for a community that we know does it well to uh, have our students succeed. And with the bottling side of our company, you know, my company, Coca-Cola Bottling United, been around for 102 years, based out of Birmingham, uh, Alabama. We actually expanded uh, to take over the entire Southeast. We have Louisiana, um, half of Mississippi, all of Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, and all of Georgia, right? Albany is actually one of our last uh, territories that we've assumed control over the last two months. So when you think about that, uh, you know, Coca-Cola Bottling Company United has a long history of being very active in the community. Uh, if you go into any uh, store or even community store in Birmingham, there are signs that Coca-Cola has an imprint there. That is our goal and aspiration for Albany in South Georgia, to really make sure that our constituents, our consumers, the shoppers, retailers, everyone on campus knows that Coca-Cola is not just here to be a product, but be a part of your households, to be your neighbor, to be your friend, to be uh, whatever you need us to be when it's a gloomy day and it's sleeting outside, right? Uh, but Coca-Cola is not just Coke, right? We have a wide array of products, too. So we can be a uh, coconut water company. We can be a protein powder company. We can be an energy drink company. We have a lot of products that can fit each occasion. And as our goal is really uh, to really get to you all to make sure everyone understands exactly where it fits. We're very proud of the fact that we have these partnerships with schools such as Albany State because we know the work that is done here is uh, unlike any other in the world. And for us to be able to succeed, and our goals as a business, we must be able to work with you all to make sure that the next generation succeeds as well. So I'm proud to be here. I have my, uh, my counterparts who are the local management for Albany as well. Uh, we're looking to meet a lot of you, and uh, we don't feel like we're new beasts. We, we think we're part of the family now, right? It's a family reunion where afterwards we expect everybody to call us. All right? So thank you for uh, welcoming us today. And again, it's, it's been great uh, meeting you all. 
we have some uh, guests from the Coca-Cola Company, the Bottlers. Would you like to come up and say a few words as well? Local? <laughs> Sylvester in the house. <laughs> So, my name is Alton Akridge and this is Ronald Downs and we both represent Coca-Cola United um, just down the road in Sylvester. Um, we're extremely proud to be here, um, appreciate the partnership that we have with Albany State University and um, I think Carl said it best, we're, we expect calls after this. We want to be involved in the community, we're glad to be here and um, willing to do anything we can to help, especially on campus. You know, I like to say this, it's kind of like a homecoming to me. I grew up over here at 925 Pine Avenue with Coke for uh, several years and had the opportunity to go some other places, spent some time in Columbus, and not long ago had a chance to come back. Uh, we had a great partnership with Albany State then and come back and see that we do now in perfect time and we get to come and present this check. So <laughs> glad to see everyone and thank you. Thank you. And we thank you all so much. And we did hear that you want to be more involved with the campus environment, right? And now I have witnesses. <laughs> we will be calling. <laughs> Dr. Art Dunning is president of uh, Albany State University. And we will now hear from Dr. Dunning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me thank Mr. Taylor and also Mr. Hill for what they've done for our students. One of the things that I do know in this next 15 to 25 years, universities won't prosper unless we have the corporate sector involved. It'll not be spending, it'll be investing. And so when you, quote, give money to Albany State and places like this, you are investing in the future and future customers and consumers. So not only are you helping first generation students, but you're creating uh, people who have the, the wherewithal have excess income and to have jobs and be able to live a quality of life. One of the things about this brand uh, that I'm very conscious of for our university as well as for companies we do business with is brand matters. And I was talking earlier with the group about the changes in Coca-Cola and how that brand was so entrenched in American culture. Robert Woodrow, as we discussed earlier, one of the leading historians and figures in the Coca-Cola company wanted to make sure in World War II that every American soldier had a Coca-Cola. And that was in East Asia, that was in Western Europe, all across this world. I spent four years living in East Asia, two as a civilian and two in, uh, in the military. And one of the things I remember is the ever-present Coca-Cola that was always on air bases. And I was my second time over there, I was driving in a car from Cambodia and Laos down to Bangkok, <coughs> Thailand, almost every, this was on a country road, and all the signage was in Thai, and Thai is kind of a script writing. But we got to this small town and I saw two signs I recognized. One was Texaco and the other was Coca-Cola. <laughs> so we told our driver to stop at this place to get a Coke. <laughs> tell you that story because this brand is not an Atlanta brand, it's not a U.S. brand, it's a world brand. And so we have two very strong brands, the Thurgood Marshall College Fund and the Coca-Cola Company investing in Albany State. All of you here uh, at Albany State, I want you to, as we have this reception, let you say to these investors how much we appreciate what you've done. I also want our students to do the same. I spend more time than I should be thinking about uh, dollars and cents. But at the end of the day, we are looking at human beings who uh, will be college graduates. They'll move into this economy and they'll be giving a return on that investment. So that's what the symbolism is about. We're doing it through two good partners, but the symbolism that's deeply entrenched in this process is that young people who are finding their way in the American economy either going to be in the economy or out of it. So this place here is helping to get in the economy and do what you need to do and do it well. So Mr. Hill and Mr. Taylor, you have no idea how much we appreciate your presence here, the words you've given uh, to this group, and how much the students at Albany State appreciate you as well. Thank you very much.
Dr. Dunning has such an amazing way to put things in the right context. We do have a student voice that we'd like to bring up to the podium now. Mr. Andre Armour, who is president of the Albany State University Student Government Association. Mr. Armour. And who is a Thurgood Marshall College Fund Scholar. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Good afternoon, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here and to be able to speak um, at such an illustrious event. My name is Andre Roman. As she said earlier, I serve as the SGA president, as well as the student ambassador for the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. And I had the opportunity of being a Thurgood Marshall Scholar. Um, upon freshman year, I met a st the student ambassador who was Kitchens Thomas at that time. And just from being up on his wing, I was able to learn about all the great things that Thurgood Marshall College Fund is doing for all the um, HBCUs and just people in general, and it's just been a pleasure and honor just to see Mr. Taylor work um, so hard, um, building relationships with different corporations, building partnerships that ultimately help us as students to thrive in the um, private sector, public sector, and the nonprofit sector. And I will just speak about my personal experience when I was a Thurgood Marshall, um, well, being a Thurgood Marshall College Fund student ambassador and just receiving those benefits from um, this specific organization. Uh, when I was freshman, um, I was attending college, didn't really have a plan for myself, didn't know which way I was going, didn't know what I was going to do with my life just in general. And I just knew everybody kept on telling me, make sure you get an internship, make sure you get an internship. That'll help you to figure out um, what you want to do with your life and find out what you like to do and what you don't like to do. So just from um, being a third commercial scholar, I've had several internships, one with the um, USDA, one with um, Walmart and one um, actually at the headquarters of the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. And through all those internships, it just helped me to find myself, mold myself and to be somebody that um, I can be proud of one day and to be proud, somebody that my parents can be proud of and that Albany State University can be proud of as well. And um, just it's just been a great pleasure and an honor just being able to serve in these roles and just help my colleagues out. Um, Thurgood Marshall has done a lot for my colleagues. A lot of my friends have um, just went on to be great people, teachers, professionals in the corporate um, sector, and just um, just grow and flourish. So it's just been a great um, honor to serve in this role and just to be a Thurgood Marshall Scholar. And definitely greatly appreciative that Albany State was chosen to receive this grant just to provide even more scholarships so we can ultimately see all of our students progress and be successful in the job force and the workforce. Thank you all. Thank you. We are nearing the, um, the closing of the, the ceremonial part of today. I understand that there are some students here who have been nominated to receive the Thurgood Marshall College Fund Scholarship. So if you are here, I'd like for you to just stand and be recognized. The students are Bianca Cummings. Hi, Bianca. Ms. Rachel Slappy. Ms. Nia Brown and Ms. Asia Hollinger. Thank you all so much. I think we are at that wonderful moment where we get to receive something special from you guys. On behalf of a grateful university and our student body, thank you to the Coca-Cola uh, Company and thank you to the Thurgood Marshall College Fund for $50,000 in scholarships. Thank you again. <laughs>